Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had learned how to create references to the schema components and reduce the redundant piece of code while defining the API definition. So in this video, we will learn how we can make use of components and reduce the redundancy which we are doing while defining these parameters that is query parameters. Here if you see under get method, we are having the query parameter for price. One is for the get method having this product ID uh, template and one is without the template. create one component for parameters so again the documentation over here I am making use of this while uh, creating this video so earlier we had made use of this schemas flex fit to create schemas component now we are using parameters so if you press control and space we are getting option we have to select the parameters I am creating a parameter for price query param I am naming this like this I will copy this param from here and paste it over here. Let me indent this properly. Fine. Now we will refer this in our query parameter here with the help of this dollar ref. Yeah. Now copy this and go over here and replace this with this. Also for path parameter, we could create a, a reference. So I will create one path parameter over here. Product ID path param. Let me copy this from here and paste it over here. Let me indent this properly. Fine. Now we have to refer it from here. We'll remove this dollar or ref and it's a path param now uh, we'll verify it has not broken our code so path param 100 uh, which we had defined over here uh, it's reflecting a query parameter is reflecting yeah it has not broken our code not broken our api definition so looks good like this we can make use of this components and create references for parameters like be it for query or the path thank you for joining us in this video